Well, hey friends. Wow. <laughs> so I have something really encouraging to share. Our God is so awesome. Jesus is amazing. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to make this video because I really want to encourage the body of Christ and tell you how much Jesus loves you. And here's proof. <laughs> so I was on the phone with the girls today. I'm visiting my mom right now. She lives at the beach. Um, I was on the phone with the girls today. And so the way God works with me, you know, it's kind of like a direct connection. Um, it's very supernatural. I can't explain it, but I can literally pray and ask for things. And the Holy Spirit goes like this. And then I hear things. And it's not like a voice or anything like that. It's like a, a thought. And so I get thoughts that pop in my head, which can't be my thoughts because I don't know enough. <laughs> um, but this is what's amazing, okay? So um, I was on the phone, I was praying to the girls and we were, you know, trying to find more clues about the date and the time. But the thing is, we realized it was never about the date and the time. Now this is gonna blow your mind. So I didn't know that, you know, we've been focusing on that because we thought that's what Jesus wanted us to, but he wanted us to focus on it because of this reason. Okay, so McKenna and Cassie and, and Jess, they're probably gonna do a video explaining it because God gives us revelations. Sorry, it's really windy. God gives us revelations, but he doesn't always explain everything to me. He just, I just hear him directly, okay? But he put me with these amazing, beautiful women and they, through the Holy Spirit, get a lot of revelations, okay? And <laughs> so I'm on the phone and Jesus, you know, we're, we're trying to find clues and then I heard um, after the net, right? Remember he gave me a message, he said it comes after the net. So, and then he said something about how, how long does it take for the, the fish to swim to get to the net? Okay, so we started looking at stuff and then there was, they were getting a lot of things, you know, through numbers, which I, some of it went over my head, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but then I heard, go look at the coordinates on the map in Israel and then divide by the time zones. And so I did. Well, I didn't do the math, but I told the girls. And Cassie was like, well, there's 24. And then I heard in my head, no, don't include Israel. So then Cassie starts dividing and she gets a time. And the whole thing led us to, and, and, and this is where I can't explain it well, but it led us to six. Okay, six minutes, not seven. Because remember he said seven is completion, but six. He's literally, he revealed to us that he's gonna give people that last minute to repent and believe in him. <sighs> Guys, it was all about revealing what an amazing, beautiful, loving Jesus he is that he's gonna give us that one minute and you know what's amazing is we were going through the, and I think when McKenna added it up separately or something, she got 153, which signifies fish, you know, the church, and then something else she got a revelation for. McKenna's gonna do a video. She's really great at numbers. That's that's one of her gifts. And um, I noticed, she asked me what my birth time was, you know, because we were looking at different uh, correlation things of why God put us together, our personalities, even our blood type. Um, I mean, everything from the time we were born. Well, we all equal 99, um, according to the numbers put together. And so, and this is all like Maserat stuff, um, God's true calendar in Job 38. Um, like I said, a lot of it goes over my head, but hopefully they can explain it better. But I just wanted to encourage you because you are saved by your faith in Jesus Christ and his grace. Guys, Jesus is the only way, but here's what you don't know, okay? The ones where he calls you worker bees, he's trying to drill it in your head that when 
goes, he says, you know, um, you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Guys, there's a double meaning there. He's trying to show you that when God sees um, us, he doesn't see us, he doesn't see our sins, he sees Jesus. And that's a huge revelation because that's why he says it. Who is in us? Jesus, the Holy Spirit is in us. And wow, he's just totally speaking through me right now. I'm getting more of a revelation. Guys, the Holy Spirit is in us. That is why we're the restrainer. We're removed before the wrath comes. But he's going to give us a time for our friends and our families that we're worried about. He's going to give them that one minute to get on their knees and believe in him. If that's not a loving God, I don't know what is. And then if someone doesn't make the rapture, he's gonna give you another chance to die for his glory, but he doesn't want that. He doesn't want you to die for his glory. He wants you to be a part of the wedding feast. And this is what it's all about. He's trying to show you that grace of that one minute. So put your religions down. Put your comments and your scoffing and your, you know, oh, you can't wear makeup and you can't wear jewelry. Jesus isn't any of those things. He is love. He is love and he's trying to show you if you would just believe in him with all of your heart and confess he is Lord, he will save you. Because God, the Father, sees us. He sees Jesus in us, so he doesn't see our sins. We'll never be able to follow the law, which is why you need Jesus. We are counted righteous under Jesus. And that is what that means. If you've seen me, um, you have seen the Father. It is like a double meaning. Remember, I told you things are reversed. Guys. <sighs> Wow, Jesus, you are so good. I claim Jesus Christ is our savior. He is our Lord. He came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He died for us. He rose on the third day so you guys could be saved. So we, as the body of Christ, the, the, the people, can be saved by his love. And guys, one, I believe McKenna was saying something. It actually means love. It actually means and she was doing the numbers that last minute. And then I found out, you know, from the very beginning, my birth time was 321. Three plus two is five plus one is six. Six, my jersey number on my uniform playing softball my whole life was number six. <sighs> There's no coincidences with Jesus. There's none. And so he brought us together to use our different strengths to put together as one because he's also showing you are we are the body of Christ we are one spirit so that is why he wants everyone to love one another and that's why he has no favorites because we are all one so don't worry about your family and your friends this is a gift okay he's gonna give them that one minute to get on their knees and believe and they're gonna see his glory in the heavens they're gonna see the sky that's what the light shows about that's why he says watch my movie it's because he's gonna give them that one minute God is amazing and I would not be able to do any of this without the Holy Spirit and I am in it for nothing but to try to help the body of Christ and encourage them so please guys time is short tell your friends tell your family because Jesus is coming. There is no more rehearsal. If you look at Matthew 22, the invitations went out. Go read it. It actually says, I invited them to the wedding. May 22nd started the ninth hour. And February 15th was the midnight cry for everyone that called me Foss and all the people that scoffed and mocked. That's why I always said, take it to Jesus because he gives you the revelation. He'll show you. Okay, guys, I love you so much. And believe me when I tell you, you are saved by your faith in him and his grace. God bless. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube.